Hello! Hello, hello, hello! Kumusta na po kayo, classmate? Ang tagal naman ni Arak, di po kasi siya dumadating. Hello, hello! Ito, magsimula na tayo. Tayo na po kayo. At kakanta na tayo. Welcome to Sunday School! Sunday School. I am Teacher Dana. So before we start, let us all pray. Repeat after teacher. We bow down our heads. We close our eyes because we are talking to God. Lord, thank you for this another day. Thank you po dahil magkakasama po kami ulit sa Sunday School. Thank you for keeping us safe always. Thank you for our parents, teachers, and classmates. Help us to understand our lesson today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The title of our story is David is chosen as king. And it is found on 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 1 to 25. Saul is 30 years old when he became king of Israel, and he ruled for 42 years. Saul did what God said is right. Kaya lahat ng kalaban nila ay natatalo nila kasi Saul followed God and God helped them to be victorious. Dahil laging panalo sila King Saul, he became proud of himself. He boasted about his abilities and hindi na niya sinusunod yung utos ni God. 
Kung ano ang gusto niya, yun ang masusunod. One day, God spoke to Samuel, and he said, I regret that I made Saul king. He has turned away from me and does not obey my instructions. The next day, pinuntahan ni Samuel si King Saul para sabihin ko ano ang sinabi sa kanya ni God. And Samuel said, You have not obeyed the Lord. Therefore, since you have rejected the word of the Lord, He has rejected you as king over Israel. Nagmakaawa si King Saul kay Samuel na huwag siyang alisin as king of Israel. But Samuel said, The Lord has torn the kingdom of Israel from you today because you do not keep his commands. Now the Lord has sought out a man after his own heart and will appoint him as king over the people of Israel. After that day, Samuel mourned for Saul and one day, God spoke to Samuel. How long are you going to mourn for Saul since I have rejected him as king over Israel? I'm sending you to Bethlehem to a man named Jesse. I have chosen one of his sons to be king. After that, nagready si Samuel para pumuntang Bethlehem and he brought an oil to anoint the one he got chosen by God to be king. Pagdating pa lang ni Samuel sa Bethlehem, nakita na niya agad si Jesse and he asked him to bring all his son out. Pagkakita pa lang ni Samuel kay Elab, the firstborn of Jesse, sabi niya, Surely the Lord's anointed is standing right here before us. But God said to Samuel, He is not the one. Do not look on his appearance or his height. For the Lord does not look at the things man looks at. Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. All Jesse's son passed through Samuel, and each time God did not choose one to be king. Samuel asked Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? Jesse replied, They're still the youngest, but he's tending to the sheep. Samuel said, Send for him for we will not sit down until he arrives. When the boy arrived, nakita ni Samuel na ang ganda ng mata niya and he has handsome features. And God said to Samuel, Rise and anoint him. He is the one. Samuel anointed the boy named David in the presence of his brothers. And from that day, the Spirit of the Lord came on David as the anointed future king of Israel chosen by God. And that is the end of our story. For our object lesson, we will talk about ice and patience. Do you know kids that making ice takes a lot of time? From water, magiging ice siya kapag nilagay natin sa freezer. But it will take hours to turn liquid into solid. So if we want ice, then we need to wait. We need to have patience. Patience is the ability to wait despite the difficulties or to wait without complaining. It's hard to wait patiently especially if we are having difficult times. Ngayon, we are waiting for the pandemic to be over. And hindi naging madali yun. For two years, we complain, we get irritated kasi antagal matapos ang pandemic na ito. But you know, God is so patient with us. We are like the water that will turn into ice. God patiently wait for us to be ready before sending us into the world. Some of us are not yet ready physically because they are still young or emotionally or spiritually and God is willing to wait for us. Just like Samuel, he waited for the instructions of God. Hindi nagreklamo si Samuel kay God. Hindi niya sinabi na, Lord, ang tagal mo naman pumili ng future king. Or, hindi niya sinabi na, Lord, 
Dapat sinabi mo na lang na si David pala yung gusto mo. Tinignan ko pala at ng kapatid niya. Samuel waited for God and God waited for David. Sa story natin, it said there that David is the future king of Israel. Hindi siya agad ginawang king ni Lord kasi alam niya na David is not yet ready and he is willing to wait for David to be ready. David is the youngest of eight children. See kids kung gaano ka patient si God sa atin. It is hard to wait without complaining or being annoyed. But we will try. We will try our best to wait patiently and don't worry. God will help us. Hello! So, today I want to point out two lessons that we can learn about God from when Samuel was anointing David. So, the first lesson is that we learn that God values the significant and insignificant. So, as humans, we tend to value the bigger and more grander gestures. And we tend to think that bigger is always better. But God values what is small and also least important as well. So when David's father lined up his son, the one that is older and most likely to be more advanced as a leader was not chosen. So this son is um, more gifted in leadership. However, God chose the youngest with least experience. Though he was the youngest and seemingly insignificant, uh, when yielded to God, he became the greatest uh, and most mighty of all Israel's kings. So in other words, even if you seem small and insignificant, whether you don't have a lot of toys or you don't have a lot of friends or you don't have a lot of high grades, um, it shows that once God has anointed you, He will make you the best. Now for the second lesson, we learned that God is never in a hurry. So David was likely anointed when he was a teenager or when he was young, but ultimately he waited for around many, many years before he became a king. So yet those years of waiting were crucial to his development. So we must uh, always be patient and we must be willing to wait. Um, what we can learn from this, especially since we live in an impatient culture, is that waiting is very challenging, yet it is a part for us, yet it is part for God's plan in our life. So unlike God, we are impatient people. However, God is eternally patient and accomplishes what concerns us according to his timetable according to his plan while we wait for god to do what he promised us to do he is continuously developing our character and is setting up the stage for his perfect plan so learning to wait for god's timing while simply enjoying his presence and worshiping him is part of our maturity process our memory verse for today is Ecclesiastes 7, 8, Patience is better than pride. Our memory verse for today is Ecclesiastes 7, 8, Patience is better than pride.
To end our Sunday school, let us all pray. Repeat after teacher. We bow down our heads, we close our eyes because we are talking to God. Lord, thank you for the story of David. Thank you for waiting patiently for us. Thank you, Lord, for not giving up on us. Thank you for our teachers, parents, and classmates. Lord, keep us safe always. And Lord, we know everything is in your control. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello! Ako nga pala si Absalom. Ang ganda pala ng kwento. Ko! Uy, ano pala ngayon? Bye-bye mga classmate. Hanggang sa muli. Babalik kayo sa Sunday ulit o. Bye-bye! to go